Hey, good morning guys. So I'm heading out to a spot that I was at once before, but not for very long. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in this area, so I'm excited. Could be some silver. I don't know, we'll see. I have about an hour, so let's go. hunting this morning uh it used to be an old building here back in the early 1900s 1930s it might have been an old mill site uh, you can tell by these concrete uh, pylons here and then there's a huge hole right here so uh but there was a house from like the 60s or 70s here as well and i found all these this pile of newspapers so i was just trying to see if i could get a date off any of them i actually did find one here that is Las Vegas Review Journal, 1985. So maybe that house was uh, built in the 60s or 70s. I've been finding a lot of kind of retro, I don't know if you want to call them relics, but things. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool though. So I'm gonna keep looking. I haven't found anything too crazy yet, but we'll see. 1963, it's old enough for silver. I'm gonna have to come back another day, but yeah. Right. I just found this, thought it was a modern penny. Flipped it over. Got myself a weedy. Alright, it's a good morning. So I just found a 63 and then this is a 57. So I'm excited. It's gotta be more. Yeah, I just found another key. Crazy, that's probably the fifth or sixth key I've found. There's so much junk out here. I am finding some stuff though. It's good. I'm hoping I can find something silver. Keep on looking. We just got another coin. I don't know what it is. We'll assume it's a penny. That's about all I've been finding. That and keys. Man. <laughs> I get I'm guessing it's a penny. I can't I can't even see what it is. I'll clean it up in the wrap up.
what an awesome hunt. Uh, I was out here two mornings, the morning before last. I was gonna come out yesterday morning, I got all ready to go, open the door and it was pouring down rain. So I came out today, it's really windy and cold today, but I had a fun hunt. I'll come back at some point cause I think there's a lot more to be found here. And so just to recap, this was a, a building back in the early 1900s. And then there was another house, I believe that was here at one point, probably in the 60s, 70s. Uh, cause I found a lot of stuff from the 60s and 70s, but there is a uh, building re remains from the early 1900s. And so I'll just show you what I found. This is within two mornings, so not too bad. Uh, three forks, spoon, looks like an old putty knife. Uh, most of the stuff's probably from the 60s and 70s house. Uh, I did come here one other time and I did find uh, a couple of relics from the early 1900s. But I think most of the stuff is probably 60s and 70s. This key may be pretty old. I found a key here that was from the 1900s uh, last time I was out here but found a ton of buttons. Uh, all these buttons I find, these lightweight like plastic buttons, you find those a lot around uh, old mining areas because when it rains and the wind blows and those things are a lot lighter than rocks. So those things tend to make their way to the surface. That's why I find them all the time. And a lot of them, when they're really old, they're all brittle. So if I put them on my pouch, they'll break apart. But uh, these ones are mostly probably from the house that was here. And there is a couple old ones in here. Like this one's super thin. That one's got some wear on it. But uh, yeah, here's a, a belt buckle. Old uh, protractor, I haven't seen one of those in a while. That's probably from the house, I assume. And glass bottle, old padlock, and then several, several pennies and dimes here. I was surprised I found that many, honestly, here. But I think there is more out here. And then the best find is probably the weedy right there so it's a 1957d but yeah keys kills on the keys it's probably the most keys i found in one spot killed on the buttons um just had an awesome hunt so hope you guys enjoyed i know i did see you next time thanks for watching guys we'll see you next week